Hello, children of God. This is Genesis. We are getting to know him. How are you guys doing? It is Monday. Um, I hope that you are getting an amazing start to your week. I hope that you all have spent time with God today, at least an hour. Um, I hope that you spend time in the word. Um, I have just... I want to say this isn't a testimony, but this is more like a story time. And also it's going to be, um, I think it's going to bless you. All right. So I'm just going to pray really quickly. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this time. I thank you, Father God, that you woke me up this morning. Holy Spirit, I just invite you into my conversations. And I'm asking that you speak directly through me in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. So this is the scripture that I'm going to start us out in. This can be found in 2 Timothy 4 and 3. It says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they shall heap to themselves teachers in accordance with their own lust. That's a good one, right? So here's why I think that this is a very um, important and revelatory teaching. I'm going to say it. I'm also going to give you the Bible verse in the message. It says you're going to find that there will be times when people will have no stomach for solid teachings, but will fill up on spiritual junk food. Um, catchy opinions that tickle their fancy. They'll turn their backs on truth and chase mirages. Um, but you keep your eye on what you're doing. Accept the hard times along with the good. Keep the message alive. Do a thorough job as God's servant. Okay, so here's why this is important. A lot of people now, they have very much so itching ears. There was a time where I had itching ears. There was a time where I actually paid um, a witch $750 for deliverance. And she is a witch. Um, I prayed about it numerous times. She is a very popular Caucasian lady, okay? And no, it's not Catherine Crick, okay? So please don't get in the comments, all right? So here's the thing. Um, I paid this lady $750 to talk to her on the phone for one hour, okay? It's funny in a sense that that was an experience that really spoke out to me and I was told to talk about that not just because of the amount that I paid but the fact that I literally was willing to pay seven well I did I paid seven hundred and fifty dollars to talk to somebody for one hour okay when I could have went to God for free now in those four weeks I want to say hmm I'm not going to say that I didn't get anything out of it because I actually learned a lot from witches. I learned a lot from being under false ministries and a lot of them did give me information. So I'm not going to say it was a total disaster, but I will say that it is um, a thing where God is going to basically allow the enemy to sift you as wheat when you don't serve him. Okay, so why is this important? It's important because I posed a question on my Facebook page. I asked people, I said, hey, how many people have spent an hour with God today? Okay, now the response was very low. The numbers were very low. My likes on Facebook is low anyway, just because I'm a real prophet. And a lot of people do not like the way that I talk because it's, it's too convicting, okay? I'm stepping on too many toes, as they say. So with, with that being said, very low number of people that actually said that they spent an hour with God. And some of the people that responded, they even said, oh, I spent 30 minutes. And I specifically said, if you spent the hour, who spent the hour with God today? So really a lot of the people that responded, and then some of the people were lying. But I digress. I think it's very, 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 very sad, the times that we live in. I think it's very, very sad that we actually get into people's inbox and we message them. We send them long, lengthy messages about their, about their, about your family, 
you've done witchcraft before, your family's done witchcraft, you come unrepentant, you don't repent for your sins and all of these things, and then you expect people to give you this long answer, you expect people to take the time out of their day to address you when you won't even go to God. God, you don't even take your own life serious. And the reason why I know you don't is because you haven't even gone to God with your issues. I think it is an amazing thing that God is raising up people to actually edify the church, to build the church up, to do the things that we are called to do. But God also wants you to press. God also wants you to go to him directly for yourself, okay? A lot of people get offended because I don't answer messages. I don't. Um, sometimes I do. So a lot of times, I, I'm not going to lie, I'll open the message on mistake. Okay. And, and in that case, I will. I'm not called to sit up and answer messages all day long. I would never do that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> everything that I do is free. And it should be. Okay. Because God has not instructed me to charge people for deliverance because he didn't do it. All right. And I wouldn't even feel comfortable doing so. I don't want to go to hell for literally um, being given over to the spirit of mammon. I don't. But I want to tell you all that God will literally turn you over to the enemy when you don't serve him, when you don't seek after him, when you don't go to him. Here's my suggestion to a lot of you all. Now, you can disregard this if you want. I would suggest before you message anybody, this is what I would suggest you do. Number one, you should go to God with your problems. Number two, you should ask God to reveal to you the open doors. Open doors mean unconfessed sins and things that you need to repent for. Number three, if it's a family issue, your husband, your wife, I would ask God to reveal to you the sins that your husband or wife has committed. Number four, I would begin to go on a fast, whatever that is. So if you're fasting because your finances are horrible, I would Google and I would search up scriptures concerning finances. I would go to God with that in a fast for at least a week and I would pray about it every day. I can assure you that you are going to hear from God. You, you're probably going to hear so much that it's going to blow your mind mind the way God is going to begin to speak to you okay um there is someone that I I really enjoy I love watching him he has wisdom beyond um, I mean he has wisdom beyond any person that I've ever listened to um and I, I enjoy his teaching so much he says something so powerful he said I would never interpret anyone's dreams he said and I don't answer anyone's messages he said I would never do that he was like because I give you guys so much information that you should be going to God yourself and I feel the same way I fast with people I pray with people I press with people I call out demons in Jesus's name and so when you get that deliverance, now it's your turn, okay? It's now you have to do your part. You need to execute with God. That is what deliverance is. It's a mindset shift. And so I'm going to start doing a lot of these videos because a lot of people are in inboxes, not just mine, but you're messaging all of these people looking for answers. And God is literally saying, I've been right here this whole time. And I just want to leave on that note and I want to pray us out. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. Father, I, got, I ask that every person that watches this video, I just prophesy that a strong conviction will come upon them. Father, I'm asking that you touch their hearts and that they begin to want to actually serve you. That they want to turn away from being a lukewarm Christian and actually pick up their cross and follow you. Father, I'm asking that the people that watch this video, Lord Jesus, that they will begin to read the Bible. That they will begin to cry out for mercy and even repent Lord Jesus for going to man instead of coming to you directly father because you are the source I just decree that every person that watches this realizes father God that you are the source not man in Jesus name amen I hope this video blessed you I hope this video convicted you and I hope this video opened your spiritual eyes and ears in Jesus name Amen.